a year six specialist training in nephrology and have completed an MSc in epidemiology last year. I registered for my PhD in October 2020 and have started work on a Gen Africa dataset, which has culminated so far in a paper under review for publication and another in its final stages of manuscript preparation. A variant of the apel lipoprotein L1 gene is known to increase the risk of kidney disease in people of African ancestry. People of African ancestry are three and a half times more likely to develop kidney disease as compared to the Caucasian population. Chronic kidney disease costs the NHS 1.4 billion pounds per year. We need to understand the relationship between APOL1 risk variants and kidney disease to allow formulation of targeted screening policies, inform national guidelines, and develop interventions to prevent kidney disease. I plan to study the variants and epigenetic regulation of the APOL1 gene to better understand Number one, the relationship between APOL1 risk variants and kidney disease. Number two, the progression of kidney disease in those who carry APOL1 high risk variants. And number three, how epigenetic regulation of the APOL1 gene contributes towards kidney disease. I have a fantastic team of supervisors consisting of Professor Frank Post, Dr. Kate Bramham, Professor Caroline Sabin, and Dr. Jordana Bell. My institute, King's College London, ranks sixth nationally in the Research Excellence Framework Power Rankings. Furthermore, my patient and public involvement partners, the African Advocacy Foundation, which is a grassroots organization, have ample experience in advocacy for health and well-being of the African and Caribbean diaspora in the UK. The core of my PPI work is further supported by Black-owned Eagle London Integrated Communications Agency, aligning with King College London's and the African Advocacy Foundation's values to output information into easily accessible, industry-standard content needed to appeal to the Black community.